next Accurate Forecast with Alana Brophy, Weather Rate Certified 10 years in a row. Well, our visitor today from California is smoke and a whole lot of it. Yes, and we hope it'll leave as quick as it came along. Well, it's going to spend the weekend in Utah, and mm. that's unfortunate. We're watching thicker smoke really billow throughout the state. This is a look at our time lapse video out of Salt Lake where you can see smoky conditions, but you're going to watch as the cold front comes through. It welcomes in that westerly flow, and you're going to notice the change towards the end of the laps here where heavy smoke really moves in along the Wasatch Front. There it is, very noticeable, blocking out the sky, and definitely. You can smell and taste that smoke out there. Extreme smoke does lead to the air quality impacts. We've seen unhealthy air today and is not good news for the weekend. We do have cooler temperatures behind the front, but there are portions of the state that haven't seen the smoke just yet. When can we expect relief? We'll talk about that coming up in the long range. This is a live look at Tooele County. Erta socked in, not a surprise. The Wasatch Front seeing thick smoke, but I want you to compare that to the skies we're seeing in the Four Corners area. Very different. Blue sky down there in Blanding with just a little bit of cloud cover. The cold front has pushed through a portion of the state and is stalled out near central Utah. But that thicker plume is on the move. We're going to watch it head south as we get closer to midnight. So central and southern Utah, you will see this wildfire smoke. It's going to continue to spread out. As we head into tomorrow morning, that thick smoke really noticeable for the southern half of the state. Now, we will still have poor air quality in the north. We could see hazy conditions at times. At other times, it could be really thick. And we know that's going to hold on. Into tomorrow, unhealthy air is expected throughout all of northern Utah. That orange indicating unhealthy for sensitive groups. If you have respiratory issues, you know this hits you a little harder. Tomorrow's going to be a tough day. Outdoor activity not recommended, even in southern Utah, where the thicker plume of smoke will really take over by the afternoon hours. As we look at our wind speeds, we see some double digits there in Salt Lake and Provo. Westerly winds behind the front carried that smoke into Utah. We do have some gusty conditions and some southerly winds still impacting the southern portion of the state and in eastern Utah. That's where we have a red flag warning near Green River and Moab that will hold until 8 o'clock tonight. But you can see those blue lines kind of showing you exactly where the front is placed right now. So we know it will continue to impact us getting through today. 82 in Salt Lake, we've got 70s along the Wasatch Front. The cold front bringing in that cooler air with the smoke as we make it through the day. You can see places like Green River, Moab, Hanksville have not dived into that. We do know places like Delta sitting at 84 definitely have seen the front. 24-hour temperature change gives you an idea of just what a drastic difference we've seen from yesterday. We're 18 degrees cooler and you can kind of make out exactly where that front is. Tonight, the smoke holds steady. Not good. Not a night to leave the windows open. Into tomorrow, that thicker smoke will be on the move. At times, we will see hazy conditions in the north, but this smoke is sticking around for the weekend. As we head into next week, we get a front on Monday. Some northerly winds could kind of Break that up. 80s along the Wasatch Front, warming trend, 96 in Moab, 102 in St. George. Just know for the next seven days down there in St. George, temperatures will be right around average. We do introduce monsoonal moisture back into the forecast by the middle of the week with the chance of isolated storms Thursday and Friday. Here's the Wasatch Front, warming trend. Upper 80s tomorrow. By Sunday, the heat comes back. The front comes through Monday, hopefully alleviating some of that smoke and our temperatures make it back to the 90s. Not great air quality today or for your weekend. So there's your heads up. Guys, over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Alon.